you guys it's Dana welcome back to decorate with Dana and welcome to another video today we're going to be doing um, a little bit of a target shop with me but I'm really just pointing out my personal favorite things um, but I, I didn't show you everything in the new Studio McGee or Hearth and Hand line. Mostly I stuck with the Threshold and Studio McGee line. I may have shown you a couple things from the Hearth and Hand line as well, but for the most part, I just stuck with my favorite items. Some items I find in this new line are a little pricey. Some I do find are a pretty good deal. I do try to shop when there are sales and stuff, but that does not always happen when these new items come out and are released. So I'm going to just run some clips to show you what they have out, what some of my favorite things are, and then I'll share. come back here and share with you just some of my favorite items that I ended up picking up and also how I'm going to style them in my home. So without further ado, let's run the clips and then I will meet you back here. Okay, so the first thing I saw was this neutral tall terracotta vase at for $50. It is huge and it's absolutely beautiful. I also absolutely loved this wooden bowl. It is $40, which to me is a bit pricey, but it is really beautiful and would perf be perfect for an entryway table. These checkered tray and baskets are really popular this year. Checkered pattern is very popular. It is really beautiful and it's nice and neutral looking. So I really love that and adds a little bit of visual interest with the checkered pattern. This Clarksdale tufted ottoman I think is so beautiful. It has like a wooden base. This is the light tan color. It also comes in a light green color and a cream color as well. Okay, so by far my favorite piece is this 24 by 18 landscape wall canvas. I think this is perfect for most of the year and it has a beautiful antique gold frame. Another two pieces that are absolute favorites of mine is this cast metal decorative bowl for $25 and this cast metal um, candle holder for $15. I love the antique brass look of these and I think they're just perfect for adding a little accent and um, visual interest to whatever you're displaying in them. I think this rattan shade floor lamp is so unique and so beautiful and I just think it would add the perfect texture for the spring and summertime. They also have a lot of these faux leather trays as well as some decorative boxes that I think I will show you here in a few minutes and I think that they're just really perfect for adding a little bit of a different kind of texture. It's kind of like a pebble faux leather, leather and I think that it's really beautiful in this really pretty sage green color and then they also have the rattan shade um, table lamp as well and I think that they just add so much texture to your uh, decor. Another favorite piece in this line is this table lamp with this gingham pleated shade. It is $50, but it's perfect for a countertop or an entryway table.
Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed those clips and just kind of got an idea of what Target has out. I will have everything that I can possibly have linked down below so that in case you want to jump online and check them out and some people don't like to go to the stores, then you'll know what's out there and I will have everything linked so you can hop over there and see if there's anything that you're interested in. So let's get started with this haul. The first thing I picked up that was my absolute favorite thing from this entire collection was this landscape piece of art. I think that this is super beautiful. It has kind of a very vintage antique kind of brass frame, very neutral colors. And I think that this can be just used all year. So that's one plus, or I mean, at least most of the year, I probably wouldn't use this at Christmas time, but I think that this could be a spring, summer, and even fall, early fall um, piece of art that you can display. And I think it's just gorgeous. Okay. So the size on this is 24 inches by 18 inches. This is the threshold designed with Studio McGee wall art. And this was $40. Now, $40 is definitely pricey, but when you can have a statement piece of wall art um, to display on a mantle, on a shelf, um, on just a blank wall, wherever you want to style this above a bed, and it can be used for most of the year, I don't think $40 is a bad price for this at all. Okay, so the next item I picked up that I just could not resist was just this adorable lamp. It has the ceramic base, but it has a lot, of, but there's a lot of texture to the base of this with a little bit of the raw clay edge at the bottom. And I just really love this pleated um, checker patterned lampshade. I think it is super kind of like cottagey looking. Um, I don't know, very beautiful and just adds a little bit of something having this little plaid detail without being too overly busy. I think this is perfect for a little entryway table, a little side table. This would also be beautiful on a countertop because it's just that perfect height. It's nice and small and there's nothing like adding a little bit of mood lighting with a little lamp on the countertop. I love that. This was, um, this was $50. So I do think it's a little pricey, but again, it can be used all year. And so, you know, I think it's cute and I don't know. I thought it was worth the price because I could use it all year long. Okay, so aside from the landscape wall print, my next favorite item that I did pick up was just this little marble decorative bowl. I think that this is perfect. This can be used next to your kitchen sink to hold your jewelry. Um, you can be used in a bathroom to hold your jewelry, next to your side bed to hold your jewelry. I could use this in my office to hold paper clips. Um, anything, you could put this on an entryway table to put your keys in it. You could put a candle on this. I mean, there, there's so much you can do with this. It's super heavy and I love this scalloped edge detail. I think it's so beautiful. This was $25. It is extremely heavy. I love the variation in the marble and I think adding marble in with woods and glass and everything is just another element of detail and texture that you can add to your decor. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up was just this little antique brass candle holder. This was $15. It does have the little tiny feet, so it gives it a little bit of an elevation. Um, not much more to say about this, except for that I love the kind of antique look to it, and it's just perfect for putting your candles or something on, so I think that this was perfect. Again, this was $15. Not 50, $15. Okay, so the only thing that I picked up from the Hearth and Hand line was just this set of two um, kind of cream color and white pot holder set. The top one is like a checked pattern and the bottom one is just kind of a striped pattern. Super neutral. I love to hang these right on um, the cabinet knobs or handles and they're just easily accessible and yet they're nice and neutral and they look pretty too. So they are functional and stylish pieces for your kitchen. The set of two of these was $8.99. Okay, so the last thing I picked up was this Magnolia 
apple blossom candle. It's infused with essential oils. It's a plant wax blend. Uh, smells amazing, but I absolutely love the decorative bowl. So I don't know if you can see the two-tone. This is a more glazed finish with the little speckling detail. And then this part is a more raw edged finish, uh, just a tad bit darker. I love the looks of this bowl. It has a beautiful scent, even not lit. Honestly, I don't really light candles that much because they're really just not that good. But a lot of these heavy scented candles can just still make a room smell amazing without having to be lit. This one was $15. However, I do think it was on sale when I picked up this one, but I don't know. I just think it's beautiful and put it on a tray in the kitchen or, um, and put like your candle snuffer and stuff next to it. I think it just makes a perfect little decor accent piece. And what I like about this is once the candle's done, you could take this wax out and this could just be a decorative bowl. You could put a little like um, greenery stem hanging out of it or something, or it can be used for, again, like little trinkety things, decor keys on an entryway table or whatever. So it kind of serves double duty, but what I like the most about it is the container that it's in. Okay, you guys, that is going to wrap up today's target shop with me and haul of just some of my favorite things and how I'm going, how I'm styling them in my home. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm going to have everything linked down below. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them for me down in the comment section and I will try to get back to you. But thank you all so much for watching. If you are new, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you a part of my channel with me. And follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana for other decorating ideas and really just day-to-day -day life stuff. A lot of my little fur babies because they are a huge part of my life. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.